guys welcome to this channel in this video i'm going to walk you through a bunch of really cool ai tools that allow you to do product documentation when i say product documentation uh, these are on the lines of writing prds generating roadmap ideas and then writing user stories so i found this website very recently and i'm going to quickly walk you through how it works however before i move forward if you are new to this channel consider subscribing to the channel for the best product management generative ai and no code tool content be active on youtube so if you have any questions feel free to drop those in the comments and i'll be sure to get back to you with that in mind let's get started all right so the very first thing that you have to do is go to uh, this website called all right so once you land on this website you can see that there are a bunch of tools here i'm assuming that this is still in development but you can see that there are effectively four tools uh, currently on the website that and there's a bug here currently on the website that enable you to do some product documentation and we're going to be trying uh, all four of them see how these work um, and yeah let's get started so let's start by uh, ai prd writer first so you go in the ai prd writer there are a bunch of um, items here so so you have to put the feature details here the high level details and the impact that's better impact. let's try an example so the feature that i want to build is like a virtual reality headset designed to use in the workplace allowing employees to collaborate in a virtual space so features could be vr headset so activities games wired boarding okay so these are the features that i would want to have in the vrd and then expected impact Okay, so this is uh, the AI PRD writer, and let's try and generate. There is no success bar here. I don't know if it's working. Oh, yeah, I can see something happening up here. You see, on the top, there is like a progress bar that's rolling. Okay, so it looks like it was able to write like a very very high level uh, PRD of what we want to do, right? So it created like um, goals, personas, user stories, feature requirements, non-functional requirements, success metrics. Pretty interesting because on a very very high level a PRD would consist all of these documents, right? So provide a virtual reality headset designed for use in the workplace, allowing collaborate with remote facility activities create an immersive so super cool right this can uh like from my own perspective when you're writing a prd what you can definitely do is if not get like a complete correct prd right so this is not perfect it needs to have flows it needs to have impact numbers so this does not have any numbers right now which is why this um seems to be like a good starting point especially when you want to gather ideas right so there's facilities activities games immersive environment etc etc remote workers office workers as a so it also has user stories feature requirements uh, ability to connect to virtual space ability to participate in activities so very interesting i mean it was able to at least put a few of these things together um so let's also try some of the other tools right so that i can see that i can directly copy from here right it so pretty interesting right so let's just try one more tool product vision generator let's go in here let's paste the same thing want to become a machine learning based product okay instead i can say want to become a replacement of physical So this, uh, I believe this helps you, there's no description, okay. So I believe this helps you generate product vision for your uh, product per se. Okay, let's try. 
We want to develop a virtual reality headset that will listen as a workboard anywhere, employees that in between. Our product would empower people to work smarter. It's very interesting. So while this is not like the perfect product vision, it was at least able to put together a bunch of really uh, the initial product vision that can actually work if uh, you know you can further cut it down, make it more crisp. So from that perspective, this is not perfect, but at least it was able to give us some starting points. So really cool. Let's try some more tools. So I'm taking this text. So this product would map, let's try this. Oh, the, the, this has a bunch of fields. Okay, so name of the product, I'm just gonna say a virtual reader. Okay, industry is product. Is that right? Is that even an industry? Uh, information technology B2B. Build, replace, physical workspaces, remote workers, product team, ideation. Let's create like a one year roadmap for this. Okay. Let's see how long it takes. So it was able to put something together. It says 2023 ideation roadmap for virtual reality headset. Q1 research and market analy market analysis. So maybe because we put ideation here, it's talking about research. Said so market analysis. Okay, gather market insights. Identify competitor offerings. Develop a market segmentation model. Also, it's giving me like a step by step guide to launch. So it says Q1 do research. Q2 do product definition. Q3 do prototyping and Q4 launch. Um, this is not perfect, but at least it was able to give me like a step by step guide for 2023. So it's a bit of 2023. Okay, pretty interesting um, tool, especially when you at least want to get ideas started. Let's see if we can ask some other question. Subscription made me in the price of the TV, so the TV, so the TV, so the industry is coming. I heard B2C make a stage one year roadmap let's try subscription rate okay launch the point of sale tech oh very interesting so now it's talking about specifics right so it says point of sale technologies delivery range loyalty program subscription based pricing menu model. oh like this is super interesting so it's now able to uh, get context on what your request is and be able to kind of give you suggestions on what you can do in that specific stage of the journey so it gave me like five feature ideas that i can do in the first quarter five feature ideas that i can do in the second quarter similarly for third and fourth quarter so that's very very interesting you can see that there is also the uh, avenue for marketing campaigns which which means it understood that we are in the growth stage and was able to give us some suggestions okay i'm just gonna copy this and save it for later Okay, let's see if there is something else we can try here. So it has text to see. Let's try this. Use a story generator. I'm just gonna take the virtual reality headset example and I'm gonna put it here. So this is supposed to like build a user story for this. Let's see what it throws up. All in all, I think this is like a super cool platform. And I is, I'm assuming this is still under development. So, but it looks like it's uh, really fun to play with, at least to start off with. Oh, okay. As an employee, I want to be able to attend meetings remotely. Okay, interesting. So it was able to kind of build like a whole user story uh, depending on the 
context that I gave to the model. It also kind of gave me a bunch of acceptability or acceptance criteria. So that's really cool. Um, and let's see if there's something else we can try. All right, so I think we can give this a shot. SQL query to extract name from database. And link with another database called humans on the key ideas common in databases. So I'm just putting in like give me a SQL query to extract name. Okay, let's see what it turns out. It says P name H name from people P in a journey means HP. Super cool. So you can see that um, this was able to write me query primarily for, you know, by taking the context that there are two databases and there is a common key in both databases. So it was able to do a join and then uh, is able to give us database data that we need. So people name, human name from people p and even such a super cool tool uh, to play with and if you haven't tried it out i'm gonna put the link in the description uh, but yeah this has been like this is like super cool tool uh, to play you know especially to generate ideas uh, for the product or merely get some help with the documentation process so yeah i mean um, go ahead and check it out but this is probably gonna be it for the video if you like this video consider subscribing to the channel if you think these tools can help someone, uh, share share this video across with them so that they can try these tools themselves. But otherwise, this is going to be it. Thanks so much, guys. Have a good one.